So here's our Twitter account. Um, uh, donation raised. Uh, Faye likes poop. Whatever. This. I can't believe this was real. These new dwarfs are only slightly more intimidating than two elves. <laughs> because I just want to quickly say, they actually like made this into the actual animation. I wonder if Fire Emblem the heroes, like the people behind, like making animations, were aware. Because this is practically what his attack is. Okay, so, the the way that I see it, IS has made one of the most glorious shit posts in internet history. Yeah. I mean, isn't that just how Oliver has always been, even in Radiant Dawn? Right. His, like, the, his the, entire the, point is the Arthur. Stupidity. Yeah. Hmm? The. Um, okay, here it is. Yep. See, chat? They actually did it. Like, I, res I respect the I respect the fact that it, whoever also the artist for um for Oliver did a splendid job. But it's practically like that little meme yeah. image. It's so dumb. Oliver descends from the heavens and drops that smack on you. This is the goofiest attack animation we have in this game thus far. He literally clones himself and descends from the heavens. To smite thy foes. Wait, this is a close counter, Oliver. Oh God, what did you? Okay, we're, we're gonna see his stupid I mean, build bit. <laughs> it's Oliver. Where are yeah, you? I don't see a single Oliver. Oh, right there. Now. Oh, there it is. Okay, wow. Oh, there it he is. He just switched. Mm -hmm. oh. Hey, he's blue stars. Yeah. Oh, uh, even better. I, I think that the people who formed Oliver are pretty happy. Yeah. Oh, no doubt about it. Probably. All right, let's see. We I saw him in action. Also, putting a spider on his head is messed up <laughs> admire beauty oliver what is that l that's effect against beasts isn't it no we'll no see. Oh, okay let's see it anyways this is four plus four of course because he's a former hero close full special spiral you just expect all the crazy skills but close full is probably what he actually got makes sense home of favors if foe does not use beast damage oh of course why would he hurt racing why would he hurt uh yeah yeah, why would he have effective against beasts? <laughs> okay, but it's so weird. It's on the red side. Grants attack res plus five to unit during combat and restores seven HP to unit after combat. That's the, such the a... red and blue is because it's an attack and res boost. Yeah. Sure, sure. It, but you can interpret it other. I mean, now it makes more sense. But here's the thing. That's actually like. It's such. It's so for cute. Okay, here's the thing. So simple. They, they didn't need to do the beast damage part at all, to be honest, because. This hardly impacts anything, and honestly, it's not, not such a crazy ability that you would want to have, like, you would really need to put a restriction on. But they did it because of story-wise, and how Oliver is a character, and how he's a yeah. great admirer of beauty. <laughs> Oliver is just a walking meme. Let's not forget of that. Course. Right. Of course, you gotta keep in, keep in line with it, what he is. And I mean, it might as well be free, though, because let's be honest, the beast meta is not a strong meta. Yeah. You don't fight very many beast heroes oh, thus far. It so. is strong, but it's not common. It's not, it's Good. not. You, yeah. I rarely see it anymore. And All right, it's mostly green. Unit can move yeah. to a space adjacent to a beast ally that can equip sing or. T that is so specific. The only. It's extremely specific. It is. Three the only units. beast. <laughs> Singers or dancers in this game are all from the Telia series. Rayson, uh, Leanne, and what's his Raphael. name? Raphael. Raphael. That's all. Literally, all only Herons. You goofball. You only goofball. Herons. Only Herons. So but it's if saying. If you have a Heron, you get Lilith, basically. Yes. Yeah. So it's saying he basically can teleport. Oliver can teleport wherever the fuck he wants. As long as there is a Heron there. And yeah. I like to think he doesn't teleport, he just runs. <laughs> I mean, with the animation, he might literally just descend from the heavens. But that is actually such a, such a little interesting little goofball thing to put in the game. See, this is the stuff I like. It's the ability is based in the story. It's not broken, but it could be broken depending on how you use it. It's just like a little fun little thing to put in the game. So that's really cool. Yeah, there's still a second part to it. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, yes. If unit is within three spaces of beast ally that can equip sing or dance, grants attack res plus five to unit during combat. So an extra 10 attack, 10 res, doubling down on what he's extremely good at, which is his res stat, but also fixing his attack stat. Uh, for reference, yeah. he hits 56 attack and 44 res with Tome of Favors. 
Mm. This Good. is dumb. This is so incredibly dumb. He literally can just descend from the heavens as long as there is a heron on the field. And if he's remotely near that heron, he gets attack res on top of attack res. And Mr. Corner, Boost healing. Corner Oliver is viable. <laughs> and it's oh. like the heron, the herons are actually good. So you're not even really hurting yourself to use a heron with him. And you uh, don't have to support him. So uh, there's a little more flexibility. I do want to say something, chat. What's in, that? In the game's story, they try to run away from Oliver. So in Fire Emblem Heroes, they've made it so that it's impossible to run away from Oliver. <laughs> That's fucked up. Poor, poor herons. They can't escape true beauty. <laughs> that it's funny, but also really messed up. So cool. It is really messed up. <laughs> but I do oh, have to say, I on. love it. And technically speaking, if you want to get real stupid, you could just have three herons with Oliver. Yeah, he'd just be All so of flexible. Them different herons as well. Oh my god. We're Somebody in Arena is at some point going to run into a team with Oliver and the three herons. And the scary part is he might get you. It will be a functional team. It will be that a functional team. That is the thing. scariest part about it. I think even scarier is if it's Oliver with a bunch of Raphaels. Yeah, places. you need a partner with Raphael for uh, instant specials. Yeah, that would that would only really work on uh, offense teams though. Even still, right. mm -hmm. yeah. I, I think it would be really cool if Oliver. Which wait, by the way, this this also means that he can just use it. The AI can use this. Yep. He, yes, the AI, the AI can, you can use use that. Oh you my! You can literally throw Oliver in the corner and nothing is near him, and then have the That's why on the I other said. Side of the field. That's why I said corner Oliver is viable. Yeah, you could literally just have your Heron be out in no man's land and Oliver will come in and drop the heaviest glaciers of his life. This is... This is so goofy. Okay, I love it. This is... Uh, by the way, I don't think this is broken. I think it's it's fun and it's fair and it's not going to be a like game changer. I mean, it's going to make Oliver a lot more fun to use, but it's not like, oh, we've I broken the meta with Oliver. You know, it's not like no, that. No, 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 no. Not even close. I, but I love and hate how stupid this is at the, all, both at the same time. Right. This is the fact. Uh, the fact of the matter is you could literally have a situation when you're in Ether Raids. Oliver's in the corner. You're like, ah, that's fine. And then, uh, like, Leanne comes down, uh, it's okay, she just refreshed somebody and they die. Then oh. Oliver comes in with a 40 damage Glacies and just nukes somebody with his own self. See, that's the thing, that's the thing. This is, this is actually legit, like, it will catch people off guard. Like, corner Oliver is, is like a real thing to me. In a beast, by the way, because he's cornered, you can have a beast emblem team. And they can transform in everything. Yeah, it's yep. so dumb, it's so incredibly dumb. You could just be admiring but from afar and when everybody needs him most there he goes right so i actually so, like this I, I see luna saying that nobody said the same thing about apotheosis anna the thing about apotheosis anna is she can only warp to somebody within two spaces oliver has no range limit yep yeah at they all can be on no hp limit either they could be on the opposite sides of the world and oliver will just teleport Right. And then also You're probably hopefully, get refreshed. I am not late to the reviewing party. Got something for you to look at six billion. Wait, we're not actually doing actual reviews today, but if it's there's gonna be too much. Yeah, there's yeah, too much things refines. to do today. Uh we're just checking out the new new uh refines and whatnot. With that said though, the the thing about Oliver that I really like is that he as a corner unit, he actually makes a lot of sense because his res is so high. So he's not like a completely weak success susceptible hero in the corner. He can actually hold his own as long as but then again, archers, uh, um, offensive archers are kind of rare, so. Technically really speaking, good. he has 23 defense, so you could stack that as well. Not sure how, oh. but you could. Really trap all over teleport to dance. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> that would totally work. Like, and see, 30 the thing or is mirror impact Oliver with a rally. And you can try to isolate Oliver too, but. Um, Doesn't work. <laughs> you know, he can still hit you. Yeah, he can still hit you with a very heavy special. And 42 HP base is pretty easy to infantry pulse, even now. So, he'll hit you hard. Alright. I wouldn't want to be on the butt end of this Glacies. Chat, I think we can all agree this is the goofiest, the goofiest refine we've ever gotten. That's the goofiest, functional, and actually good refine. And unique. Right. Probably one of the most unique weapons I've ever seen, and it's kind of hilarious. Yep. <laughs> yes. 
Oh man. Okay, this actually also uh, gives me more faith going forward in the game because if they're willing, they're, sometimes I feel like they are too stuck on like we gotta make it like how it is in the actual games, right? Like when they did it for Takumi, for example, and oh now he can move freely because of Fujinumi, despite and then they just ignore everything about Final Fantasy Heroes that that, that makes such a refined worthless, right? Now, I believe they can not just make it accurate to the game, but still make it useful. Because Oliver never did all of this stuff. He couldn't teleport. But this makes it like a little goofy thing with a throwback to story and is incredibly functional. So that gives Oliver me some faith in the also, future. Yeah. Oliver is also one of very few games in, or one of few very games. few units across game. all games that recruits himself. By force. Yes. And best part is you don't even want him. Yeah, yeah, I remember I, that. I, I love it, but <laughs> no, this is fine. If anything, is one of many shows so dumb how they can make functional refines nowadays, and then also have fun with them to make them thematic, yeah. and in some cases, outright stupid. So again, chat, uh, I just restoring my hope uh, and belief in them because that's that's a good one. That's it. Enough about Ready. Oliver. Yep. All right. Anyways, here we go. Internal youth, Noe, 40 plus 10 plus 12. Hey, you're not... Your oh. name is literally Noe Riley. And you are not Touched. going to max her out. Mm -mm, mm -mm. You've hurt me twice now today. What more are you going to do to me? All right, 40 plus 10 plus 12, 55 yeah. HP, 55 attack, 36 speed plus speed, 36 defense, and 33... Wait a second, these stats don't look right. Those purifying breath add stats? No, okay, um... It's plus 10, plus 12. Visible stats. Slow special trigger. It, that's lightning breaths uh, thing, isn't it? Yes. Correct. Unit can counterattack with large... It is! It is the first it's, DC refine! It's our first fucking DC refine. Within reason. It's uh, 14 might distant counter weapons, so it's actually reduced might. And it has the kind of cooldown penalties. So Wait. it's a DC refine, but as limited as they can make it. Oh, ha wait, how's it reduced? Because Lightning Breath was 12, so it's two extra attack. But it's still not 16. I think it's um, I think it's just inherently within breaths, because Expiration's 19? 16. 16 plus three. It doesn't have an attack boost on it. Oh. Expiration just is just 16. Never so mind. So it still has, it, uh, if you just look at Purifying Breath, Unrefined versus Expiration, Expiration has two more might and no penalty. Mm. Yeah. Okay. So without so a true. refined purifying breath is just worse expiration. Correct. So honestly, However, I don't care because the, re the, re refine. the reality is I just wanted a DC refined. This is a start. It's a proper signal that DC weapons going in the future will get refined. So let's read what it actually does. At start combat, unit's HP is over 50%. Easy condition. Grants attack speed, defense, res plus 40 unit during combat and neutralizes unit's penalties. I'll, uh, wow. I'll Vetter and Demonic Breath. Wow. No, this yeah. is basically Fimble Vetter, except you don't need to be penalized first. But you have it's to an HP condition. Healthy. Yeah. Yeah. Which, oh. you, t you pick and take there. It's not too bad, though. I actually like this for uh, reasons of Aether Raid's offense. In terms of Aether Raid's defense, I would absolutely love to take Brunya over Noe. But in terms of, like, using a hero defensively, um... Uh, uh, enemy face hero on in ether raids i i probably take noe because this is an easier condition to um i mean it's it's hp it's, it's easy and it's exa almost the same thing fimple venture is wait no it is the same fimple venture is plus four to all stats and then no penalties so it's the same thing mm -hmm. it's the same thing the 50 percent is a little iffy if you're trying to super tank because you'll fall below 50 percent at some point mm -hmm. though it really depends on what your build is and how much it can compensate um, it is important to note that you still have the cooldown penalty, so I, special that's, spamming is rough. That's the one point I'm just kind of confused on. Like, why did they keep that? Because it's a DC refine, when DC refines are still kind of... I know, but this isn't absurd. This is and, not absurd well, refine. It's not, it's not just a DC refine, but it's also a DC refine on a very common 3 and 4 star unit. Who oh, also okay. still gets adaptive damage. Yes. Okay, I am. Yeah. But that's the reason why I'm saying I actually like rather use Noe because this is DC and she can attack up close. That already gives her a better um, 
a fight back ability than Brunya. Though there are times where you don't want to kill a certain heroes because that causes the AI to cause log jams and it could help you win. But with that said, in right. general, you would rather just, you know, have the ability to counterattack at all times. In terms of stats, Noe and Brunya are the same, aren't they? No, he, Noe should still be better. Uh, that? That's Gen 1 versus like a Gen 2 mage. I think Noe Gen has one more BST than Brunya. Yeah. Noe is still so trainee. Um, let me see if I can find a good way to compare these two. Noe has 163 BST. I know that much. Um, Noe and Brunia, huh? They're the close. Um, I guess this is a full comparison. Noe is one more BST, three more HP, one less attack, four less speed, nine more defense, and six less res. Yeah. It's it's actually pretty damn close in my opinion. Like defense defense and res wise, that's that's a throw up. Like it's you you could prefer more defense, you could prefer more res. They're both um pretty comparable there. That the speed difference is it, mm -hmm. HP to speed. Yeah. Noe has more HP, Brunya has almost speed. Yeah, and that's okay. that's also a trade off because more HP helps you fight off certain um uh, certain 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 things. We'll just say things. <laughs> They're a lot. Yeah, 48 HP with a refine is already pretty solid if you're trying to go for the HP meta. And not to mention, even if no, you can't really be fast unless you do this. Yeah, unless um, you do this, because this build actually is so much more functional now. Yeah. Because like, this is 53 dumb. effective speed if Threaten is not active. Yeah. If you dump speed like that, well, dump it into speed like that, you can get somewhere. But reasonably, it's just going to be for the bulk to not yeah. get doubled as often. Mm -hmm. um, so that's kind of an iffy part about I, I guess, is that it didn't need to be Spectrum buff for Noe, but it does give her a lot of flexibility because of her naturally balanced stat line. Right, so as long as Noe's not fighting Thracier, I think she's a happy camper in terms of Aether Raids. Like, I think she's an Aether Raids viable hero now. At, yeah, at the very least, she'll be a very solid unit in like Arena or something like that, as long as there's no Dragon Effective otherwise. Mm -hmm. Okay, so yeah, I actually like this uh, a lot. So with that said, in this case, she gets four extra attack, uh, six extra attack. So 10 extra attack, 65 damage. Her speed goes from four, six, three, so 13, 17 extra, 53 speed. Her defense goes from 36 to uh, 43 effectively. Her res goes from four, Three plus four, so eleven extra. So forty-four. That yeah, she is a really good tank all around. Then. Refined fourteen math and didn't remove cooldown penalty. Says to me that they still aren't ready to do actual DC refines. No, it's. It, it tells me that they're. The, that's the reason why I didn't want to do these refines because I think it could be too broken. So they kept the penalty. I don't. Which I mean, to a degree, yeah, it, it does kind of attract a lot of attention when you get a DC refine because DC is such a part of your meta these days okay. and having it and in your weapon opens up some very valuable a slot options particularly stances and like i said noe is a very common three and four star unit yeah even if you ignore the fact that it's dc refined she is a very common unit and a dragon so she gets any adaptive damage so they kind of had to go a little even further than just a standard DC I think card. the other thing that people forget is like she actually was the most common blue dragon. Corns versus Noe's, so many more Noe's. She had more BST too. And of course, yeah. the lightning breath, just much more common. Things changed once Corn got a refine a bit, um, but that was about it. So the amount of people that this impacts is actually a great amount of people. Yeah. And again, I just like it signals the right thing and it's a really good refine. Guys, don't look down on penalties because. Penalties drive me nuts in Ether Raids nowadays. Our newest towers, when they're maxed out, minus 8 attack, minus 8 speed, that is crippling. Absolutely crippling. Or like yeah. you walk into a panic manner, and it you can't get to, you can't break the panic manner, but to get to like say the defensive tower, you have to be within range of the panic manner, like on certain maps. That's crippling. Now you don't have to worry with Noe. Yep. yep. It's a huge boon to have that. And I mean, in this case, you're immune to penalties, you inflict guard, and you also aren't able to get hit for attack speed buffs on your foe. So yep. There's just a lot of synergy going on right there. Okay. There is one thing I will say about Noe, though. What's up? With how high her HP is, her best A slot is probably bonus doubler now. Hmm. Yeah, you can't stop her. 
Yeah. Unless you have a lull. Oh, lull well, is that, the only thing that'll stop bonus dopamine. I mean, but that's at a the same huge, time, huge it's still. Yeah. At the same time, it's still something that's very good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm not a huge fan of suggesting bonus doubler, especially in situations like this where you can have stance fours, stance threes, rather, that yeah. can put guard. Oh. But it's not exactly a bad option when you can't really face the penalty of panic, even if somehow you're getting hit for it. By the way, I hear my. Enough, bonus mm -hmm. doubler is on her daughter. Yes, yep. that would be messed up if you killed her daughter. Nah, for no way. Anyways, with that said, I hereby declare all speed noes are the true winners. Because with this refine at plus 10 plus speed, she actually gets a defensible speed. Like, at least to prevent attack. So if you fast QR is a legitimate thing on her too. Save her from getting hit at extra time. I, yeah. I forget about QR. Give her Dragon's Ire. Dragon's Ire is higher. even better. So yes, you got options. This is... This is very nice. Noe is... Noe just got way better. But yeah, for those who did defensive Noe's, res Noe's, or attack Noe's, it's not place. It's not bad, but you would have gotten much more value because that speed now becomes like good enough. I mean, defensive speed is still good, depending on where you are. Like, if you full ascend into speed, then you're more so like going for like speed crom, for example, trying to stop him yeah. from doubling. If you go more on the defensive side, you're probably just going to stop. Like, for example, normal Krom. Mm -hmm. I use Krom as a metric when it comes to the speed meta because he's not that fast, but he can be forced to be. If you can kind of keep up with him in that regard, you're fine. Fair enough. Yeah. But Another yeah. good B slot mm -hmm. option would just be no follow up out, right? Because if you want to use Noe on light season, then you have yeah. Bramimon to worry about. Correct. Mm -hmm. Right, right. So, yeah, I. I think that just makes her a lot more viable and good for fine. I like it. It's it's really it's it's simple, but it's just like it's so effective. I like it. It's enough where it's not like game breaking, making this Ellie Wood levels of valuable in anybody's cases, but it is enough to make Noe more than distinguished. Enough. I think Noe fans are happy. That's the important thing. Absolutely. Oh, also one more thing about going for plus speed, just because at Star Combat, which means this can be used on both phases. Having defensive speed also allows you to be more offensive. And she could definitely pull it off with extra stats, right? 59 attack, 40 speed, 40 defense, and 37 res at base at plus 10. Right? Not even ca not counting any of this stuff. All that's plus actually 10, pretty plus decent. 10. So she that's with having, flowers too. She should actually be getting more speed off that lad of those flowers. Yeah. So if you guys are a true yeah. Noe fan, uh, more of a Noe fan than literally Noe Riley, I think you guys are pretty happy. Anyways, that said, I like Noe, Noe Refine, but we will move on. All right, let's get going. Otax, get out. Nice build. This this is actually all she really needs. Get out. No, come on. Is there? Uh, does no one have a miss to show off? Is this the best we can do? Come it's on. It's not the best that can be. It's not the best that can be done. But it's really all it needs. It's really all that needs to be. There. I would probably. I'm I'd completely still use serious. Story, no matter what you're doing. All right, one well, second. Yeah, restore is good. One second. I also have plus attack mist, so... I, I'm okay. going to take a look to see if there's... Okay, I'll go with Spectre Scape. I, I'm i pretty sure you guys are right. That might legitimately be all she needs. But to show that, to feature yeah, that... Is. I mean, that's all healers. Healers don't need a lot. Okay, Definitely. fair enough. I agree. I put Miracle on all my healers as well. Like, the, all the ones I'm serious with. But that said... Yeah. Mist comes with Miracle. Convenient. <laughs> I still can't believe she's okay. five-star Okay, that's... That, okay, that's different. Wait, is this the exact same IVs? Uh, no, no the res. Uh, oh, okay. attacks was minus res. Yeah, okay, this is even better then. By the way, because she has good res. <laughs> right. Yeah. All right. Helpful sister missed, by the way. If your title has to just say you're their sister or something, that's the worst title. They At least be, it doesn't you can be... say Ike's sister. Right, or like Minerva's sister. Son. Like his, uh, yeah, stuff yeah. like that. It's horrible. Yeah, this at least is something a little more descriptive, a little more descriptive, like helpful. It's like, oh, that's nice. I mean, if they removed helpful, it'd just be sister. <laughs> I guess sister missed. All right. Well, that said, <laughs> Elena's staff. Now, Elena, I believe is her mother, unless I'm mistaken. Now. Correct. Yep. Okay. Grants Res plus three, full cannot cast. That's huge. That's huge. I was worried about... It's yeah. a great weapon just to use. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you would 100% take this upgrade because it would just save you, um, unless you commit to miss and gave her a... Uh... You don't need to learn Assault first, either. Okay. Yep. 
You uh, can just skip straight to this. Right. No, you're going to need a lot of SP. Mm -hmm. Yes. Right. Foe cannot counterattack. At start turn, flicks attack speed minus seven on nearest foes within four spaces. Ooh, I can already imagine ways to make this so annoying. Within mm -hmm. four spaces through the next actions. After combat, if unit attacked, inflicts attack speed minus seven on target and foes in two spaces of target through the next actions. If unit attacked. Ah. Oh. So think of it like slow and fear combined with a Hikami passive as well. Right. The reason why I, I said that this could be so annoying is like, imagine ether raids, your team has pushed forward, they've taken some damage and you run like Wings of Mercy on Mist. She teleports in, she drops the healing and the next turn, if she's not dead, she's just like debuffing the enemy team. Mm -hmm. But wait, it gets better. Yeah, but wait, there's more. At start of turn, inflicts panic on nearest foes within four spaces through the next actions. After combat, if unit attacks, inflicts panic on target and foes within two spaces of target through the next actions. That so, is in, so annoying. This is three staves combined yeah, into one. In essence, this is fear, slow, and panic combined into one staff with the added bonus of res plus three and passively inflicting all those a la Hikami. You know, yeah. chat... You know, chat, the funny thing people were saying was just like, Mrs. Refined should make people as useless as Mist. It kind of does. It, it, it does. Yeah, it kind of does. Yeah. Now. yeah. So I, I would I said this earlier. Mist went from one of the worst possible pulls that you could ever get to being one of the best debuff support units available in the game literally overnight. Yeah. And she, also a good res tank. 38 res yes, on merge. Too. Well, 37, but still. Seriously, chat, yeah. this is super annoying to deal with. Super. Like, what would you... If you find yourself in the in in the midst of... A... Look. Didn't even intend that, did you? I did not intend to do that. If you find it yourself in the midst of a mist and you don't kill her, if you give your opponent their turn, you're going to regret it. This is so annoying to deal with. Yep. Like, on, honestly, if you do pull a mist now... Yeah, she doesn't have anything to give, but you can still just give her her staff, give her the refine. There you go. You have a functional support unit. Yep. That's and it. That anything. is completely it. And anything. Like, you even like Blaster here. You could just use her in Aether Raids to completely cripple an enemy team. Poke. Dazzling staff's already there, so you don't even need to give her raffle. Or Dazzling, rather. Either way, you can literally just have her sit there, support your team, out the gate, no inherits, just yep. her staff, just her and sword. As if that wasn't enough, there are a couple of units that Mist synergizes with extremely well now. Like the enemies fall on Ike. Well, not just <laughs> that's, that. That's actually hilarious. <laughs> yeah, well, that's not what I was going for, but that is something that just hard punishes trying to use Mist. I was referring to Brave Micaiah, Saizo, regular female Corrin. Anything that exploits penalties, especially yeah. Broadleafs and penalty doubler units. Oh, yeah. Gunthra is going to be huge. Gunthra will love working alongside Mist. Mm -hmm. I would more so say Ursula at this point, just because Ursula is almost better than Gunthra outright. But yeah. I have a feeling Gunthra is going to end up getting a refine within the next few months. Right. I find her a bit suspicious, but nonetheless. Look at how look at how overly bloated February is, though. Okay, okay. But with that said, um, uh, Mist, I think she's a defensive hero, though. Offensively, this is still good, and this is still like. But I think you get so much more value against like real people with this. Yeah. If well, Ellen's an another way that Mist can be used is if there is a vulnerable spot where she cannot be reached but she can still debuff then uh yeah she can still debuff in a defensive team and they can't reach her for example mm -hmm. yeah in theory oh. or spaces is a large range right yes. that, that's also the other thing i wanted to mention this is so annoying to deal with because if your opponent decides to push in your team and bait like and like yeah if they push into your team and they expect you to like just bait everybody in. Miss just made it so much more annoying, like so much more difficult to pull that off correctly. Yep. By panicking, you automatically dropping your attack and speed by seven. Whatever tank you've just dropped in front of everybody, hoping to win, like end turn and win, not not gonna happen. Mm -hmm. I can see Mist showing up on a lot of defense teams with this. 
because provided people happen. haven't sent every copy of her they pulled home. Oh, the people who don't have the spite to send Mist home and just keep her. They got massive rewards for right. just holding on to Mist. Honestly, yeah, I got pity broken by Mist twice, so I will take that. Which quickly. By the way, I think everybody who's ever sent home a five star, like when the game first started, fine. We didn't know any about, about, about any of this stuff, but anybody afterwards, well, thanks to refines, nobody, no hero is safe to be sent home. They could all Until be so. Until they have the refine. <laughs> right. That's that's true. Until you, I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I'm just glad that Mist didn't end up in the Rise situation where she's still fucking useless. Okay, well, he still hasn't gotten his refined, so we don't know. Yeah, wait. Like, no. well, Rai has his refine. It's Ray. just. Yeah, Ray. Ray, Rai, whatever. I mean, Ray actually has a pretty good refine. It's just the fact that it's stats in it. Oh. But... Yeah. Ray has a decent refine. It's just that it's Ray. And people just hate him. Oh. But yeah. Because it's Ray. People hate Mist, but at the same time, I feel like this just. It's such a unique support See, capability that it doesn't even matter if you hate her. A lot of people hated Mist before because she was the worst five-star pull that you could get in the colorless pool for a long while. Mm -hmm. Whereas Ray is a much more obscure character mm -hmm. by comparison. the worst three-star in the red pool. <laughs> yeah. Right. Can't really get pity broken. Okay, but him, enough but about him. Let's yeah. just wrap this up. Yeah, um, yeah sorry. The, the reason why... Of all the healers, I think Mist might just be maybe the third best after Fiorm and um, Flame. Okay. That's my personal opinion. Fair, fair. And I can see it. it. It really depends on how you look at it because obviously now we have two healer refines. Um, Elise is a fantastic offensive healer, but her support is a little bit iffy. Yep. Because it's just gravity and then a rain that mm -hmm. only works on initiations. Um, Veronica is, her refine's not that nutty, and plus four to all stats, minus four to all stats. I'd argue panic with this is even more devastating than that. Yeah, if yeah. you get it to work, but Miss has, uh, sorry, Veronica has a better, uh, original stat line, so I can understand why they did that. Yeah. But if you're uh, looking for just a completely passive healer that doesn't even have to get themselves stuck on the front lines, which is a different role from cav line healers, then... Miss probably is your best shot, mm -hmm. honestly. Yeah. Okay, so uh, people get on my case, but I'll mention this. I said originally Mist was a pretty forgettable healer in the Telia series. Uh, it's half true because in one game, there's really no reason to use her. In another game, she could be pretty good if you commit hard to her. Yeah. In Heroes, they've gone far enough where they've made it exactly that case. If you commit hard enough to her, she's actually pretty good. Because Elena's staff triggers the start of the turn, Basically, any hero within four spaces, which is basically what she can only reach. Well, I mean, she has a reach of five, but almost the maximum amount of reach. If they're within four spaces, dropping their attack and speed by seven gives... They might not be able to counterattack, but if they could, like, they're hitting softer now. But dropping their speed by seven, only 29 speed, running attack speed push, speed wrestle. That's actually a six, 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 seven, and another uh, seven swing. So that's actually 20 speed. Wow, mm -hmm. that's a 20 speed... That's a 20 speed. And then, of course, uh, you're using her in light. Right, so and that's even better. Speed. But no, even at base, if you are willing to give her attack speed push, even at base speed, she's now a functional attacking hero like this. Yep. I I personally think that Mist is better suited for defense teams. Same here. But overall, it's this is still just actually worryingly concerning to think about facing. Yeah, this is like having an extra it's, shrine in some sense of the word. <laughs> With a yeah. healer. Right, attack, actually. Attack on top. And better than any shrine is the fact that she drops panic. By the way, I think panic shrine will be a thing one day, but it'll be a long way. Well, there's panic manner. Like, but, no, yeah. panic shrine, you know, like it just targets the hero. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, but yeah, with that said, Mist, great refine. It truly does make her, like, a lot better in every role. Better support hero now. Well, not support support, but like support as in debuffing the enemy team. Uh, better offensively, better defensively, better... You know what? The most important thing to say is she's usable now. <laughs> yeah, plenty of usable. Yeah, like not just usable, but actually good. Yep. Mm -hmm. I, I'm not sure if I'll refine her for panic, but I will use her out the gate 
great arena assault unit, even if you just have her now. Oh yeah, Those passive debuffs. So. I, I don't even have if, her, so <laughs> if you have yeah, if you have missed, if you have the spare do, just refining the staff is all you need to do to make her viable. Yep. That's it. Yep. That is how insanely good this refine is. Yep. Her entire role is just there. I mean, like, you could argue Sabotage would actually work on Mist because she has a good res stat now. Yeah. But that's not mandatory. Like, you could run Sabotage res, Sabotage defense, or, like, ploys. Yeah, she but, could just you know, make her more and more annoying. But, yeah, you don't have to. I actually do like this build because she now has an offensive um, option as well. Yeah, which... I also have plus attacks, so this would probably be kind of something I would do if I want to go on Mist, mm -hmm. because she can get there, especially with the Might, but... I can yeah. also see a really cheap build like Wings of Mercy and running double Fortress on her, like Fortress Res, Fortress Res, on her being really good. Yep. Because like that way she doesn't attack, right. mages can't kill her, she teleports in with Wings of Mercy, restores, and now she's like dropping debuffs on the team. Well, I wish it was like that, because it's, if unit attacks, if unit uses yeah. like a Cisco as well, that would have been perfect. Yeah, if it was like with um, Nils and how when he uses play, then he gets yeah. that penalty. That would have been great, but eh, beggars can't be choosers. Yeah, and I mean, I at mean, the end of the day, you can also just slap ploy on her C if you wanted some more consistent debuffs. Otherwise. I mean, if she just survives a turn, it will still happen, so it's not that bad. Yeah, and she can get there. Okay, but yeah, missed. Very, very good. Okay, uh, I'll just be honest. The, the hero I wanted to see the most was uh, Krom. Oh, actually, it was Noe. But the second hero I want to see the most was Krom. <laughs> or Marth, or virtually every Falchion hero. Any, any Falchion. <laughs> I have Lucina as that is my lead right now. All right. Second from the bottom on the second page. Oh, good to know you know your place. That you're a bottom? Seen it enough times. <laughs> Shut up, Mims. No. We just set it up perfectly. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Legion was that on purpose? <laughs> perhaps, perhaps not. Yeah, right. Alright, anyways. Mad Crash! My favorite strut instructor. 40 plus 10 plus 10? Hey, you're missing 5 flowers. Or whatever. 54 HP. Three flowers are expensive. Yeah, 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 I know. 54 HP, 58 attack, 47 speed, 33 defense, 27 res. Sealed Falchion has a symbol that I should recognize. What the? Is it Null Follow? No. You shall see. Affecting strength foes, yes. At star turret combat, if unit's HP is over 100%, or if bonus is Less active, than, not over. Sorry, if under 100%, my bad. Or if bone, oh bonus, she yeah, doesn't even have the, to get hit any anymore. Any bonus, there's, any bonus. Yeah, it's a garm esque kind of thing. It really does help get Lucina in that kind of situation without having to do combat first. That is probably one huge. of the biggest problems in Seal Falchion. Yeah, Seal Falchion. Sometimes you're like, I can't set this up. <laughs> I can't yep, find a fight I, I, to take. I <laughs> yeah. So, okay, that's huge. If bonus is active on unit, grants attack speed, defense, res plus five during combat. Is that one more point than it was before? Standard. No. No? Okay. I, I, I'm i confused at this point. It was, an, in, it was an insane effect for its time, so you wouldn't really know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. At star combat, if foe's HP is over... Oh, it's the foe's HP. Grants attack speed, defense plus five to unit during combat, and foe cannot make a fall attack. Okay. That is crazy. Yeah. So if Lucina is either damaged or bonus, and if foe is healthy, attack speed, defense plus 10, plus 5 res, and wary. Yep. Well, not quite wary, just... I, 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 I mean... More phase not... impact, I guess? Yeah, it's... Uh, no, that's... I, I, I stick to wary it's... because it's an easier thing to identify. But it's the thing is that you can use this offensively and defensively. Mm-hmm. Jesus, yes. you can't... It's already hard enough to double... Wait a second. That was for Krom. Well, actually, no, it's for both it was heroes. I mean, it's really for all of them, but it is technically for Krom in that now he can't get doubled on his mediocre speed stat. Yes. And the refine was primarily built attack. around horse Krom. Yes. Yeah. Yes, it Because he has an almost speed stat with Fury. Um, the whole point is that Krom gets Fury boosted off his attack get enough speed to maybe double but really just use plus 10 attack to kill in one shot hold up let's just make yeah. cav crom into a second elliewood in a way oh. it, uh, 
close enough. <laughs> Able to compete with Elliewood and Sigurd. Because if you think about it, if you just have a bonus on him, he now has attack speed, defense plus 10 versus Elliewood's 10, uh, 10 defense and defense 7 speed. And seven. He effectively so has Ellie impact. Would get special fighter. Mm -hmm. Huh? Though so Elliot would get special fighter. Right, right. He essentially has impact as well. So he has more stats. It's so interesting. That's actually so competitive. Um, it, the, what it, what the, it makes the biggest thing the biggest thing that is against Elliot is it is player phase only. This is dual phase. Right. Correct. So while yes, Elliot has special fighter chat. This is both phases. That means, whereas Ellie would, once he charges and he's had his time, like, on the enemy turn, it's not easy. It's pretty easy. It's, well, it's not pretty easy, but it's not hard to uh, beat him. Whereas with Krom, he's still a threat. He, he, all this stuff is still triggered. Yep. Yeah. Um, just for perspective's sake, on the speed department, Resplendent Ellie Wood has four more base speed than Exalted Krom, but only gets seven speed out of Durandal, whereas Krom gets ten speed out of Falchion. So, if you actually think about it, Krom only has one less speed than Ellie Wood. That evens out really nicely. Okay, crazy good. Okay. See, guys, chat, this is the reason why I wanted to see this refine, because I was just thinking to myself, how do they balance this out? How do they not disappoint half the fans? Krom and Exalted Krom are not fast heroes. Well, Krom especially, but Lucina's and Mass Marth would have wanted something to utilize. They would have wanted more speed to be utilized, especially those, especially because we've been seeing a lot more of those repel or close call versions of them. Mm -hmm. This actually is like, it actually hit a happy medium. Not just a happy yeah. medium, but like it's just good on both, both of them. It's perfect, honestly. Like, it actually, because Lucina and Mass Marth don't have good death res, so they don't want to get it more than once. Uh, Krom and Krom and other Krom don't have great speed, so they don't want to get hit twice constantly. Jeez. The sheer amount of stats, they, the sheer amount of stats they get, though, is uh, enough absurd. to. It's it's uh, it's absurd. Yes. If you and, want to think about it, Sealed Falchion gives twenty six attack in total. Fell Breath is Duma's perf, and it only gives twenty five. My God. Yeah, this gives more attack than Duma's perf. <laughs> okay, I'm so chat. This is a qual fine. I like it a lot. Yep. It's fantastic. Even if it doesn't yep. give an extra res plus five on the refine. By the way, I had I, some. I, I, mm -hmm. I'm. I have been having a fallen Celica set up as an Astra carry. This is honestly making me consider doing, uh, having Lucina set up as my Astra carry instead. Because I already each. have her merged up, and it would just be, it would just need summoner support and five more flowers. You could just do one on each. Mm -hmm. I could, but I already have Brave Celica on light. Mm, nothing like the flexibility, but yeah, this is viable as a carry, especially this one. This is right. about as good a Lucina as you can get besides those five flowers. Right, because, okay, real quick, chat. With the insane amount of stats that she gets here, um, attack speed, defense plus 10. Uh, and in speed, res soul adding another. So 16 extra speed. So this is a, oh my god. Um, 63 speed. Attack. That's without any mythics, by the way. Yeah. That's just, that's, so, just that's literally just for existing in some cases. Yeah. 68 yeah. attack. The defense is now, um, oh, it's 43. 43 and the res is 6 uh, plus 5, 11, 38. 38 res. So that's the only thing that she has a bit, uh, she's a bit soft on, but that's all right. Oh no, 38 res. 38 res. Survive? Where you can only hit her <laughs> one time, so yeah. And yeah. she still will have that no follow up in this particular case. No and no follow up combined with the dual phase impact effect of sealed falchion is kind of nutty. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because it's like, hey, you don't get to double. I said you don't get to double. Yeah, like yeah, nothing. No follow up wary is literally if you don't have the speed to double, you're not doubling. I don't think they have Ever. the speed because that's 63 speed. That's insane. Yeah, you have to have the speed to beat the wary check. All right, Chad, I'm sold. This is a great refine. If you have a Lucina, Krom, all of them, just just get the refine. I uh, also the, the other thing I really like about this refine is that it comes on Mass Marv too. And while Mass Marv does not no, does not yeah. have the resplendent little, uh, extra stats. Let's be serious, most people were not making a plus 10 Lucina anyways, so that's a guaranteed plus 10 hero that gets a shit ton of extra stats and a really good weapon now.
Mass uh -huh. Morph is like a, a, once again a legitimate uh, plus ten option, especially if you okay. played the game since early on and have extra copies of them, anyways. Yep. I'm seeing somebody saying that the side grade characters benefit the most. That is extremely debatable with the sealed fall shimmer fine. I mean, the stream just died. I will just say, Ellie Wood's I think the, the stream just died. Ellie Wood is what? No, I think this. No, it's still going for me. I think you died. Hey? Okay. <laughs> yeah, you might have died. Um, okay, so Twitch was say, being dumb on my end. Yeah, I'll just say that Ellie Wood is the metric, and Ellie Wood is a three star. That's the main problem that oh. even Horse Crime's gonna have. The biggest problem with comparing Ellie Wood and Brave Roy is that they're both in the same movement class, and Ellie Wood has the advantage of having more res. So that's why Ellie Wood outclasses Brave Roy so much, even without Resplendent. It's Brave because Roy he has the res to actually be a he actually has the res to be a mixed tank right. when he's initiating. Brave Roy when it come, oh, go ahead. has a bit more attack and that's about it. And harder yeah. hard to get. So Ellie Wood yeah. just wins in every category. Ellie Wood yeah. beats out Roy hardcore at this point. But yeah. uh, it's more so from the perspective of Ellie Wood versus Krom. Krom's still going to have the lack of merges. Yeah. Likely. So you have to that, kind of weigh in that when using the him yeah. over Ellie Wood. And then when we look at Sigurd versus Selif, who benefits from the refine of Divine Tearfing more? Again, it's, well, because they're not in the same movement class, because their stats are so wildly different, that's actually something where it is very much debatable. Sigurd has that extra movement. He has uh, Crusader's Ward as his B skill. It's actually something where it's like, Okay, there is an argument for Sigurd having better roles in some instances than Selif. Yes, Selif has all the shiny infantry toys, but Selif doesn't have the consistent movement that Sigurd does. And Sigurd is also just naturally pretty quick, too. And then when we get to Sealed Falchion, Knight, uh, Knight Krom, Horse Krom, whatever you want to call him, again, cavalry movement is a very big deal when it comes to determining how effective something is going to be dual phase impact that's really good and he has respectable defense and attack and then when you look at lucina past marth whatever identical stats at base neutral and all of that and then if you don't have resplendent lucina if you've been playing since launch just get those two extra merges for 250 grails there you go you've got a maxed out unit a pretty quick one and then when we look at regular chrome again a very different stat spread regular chrome is much more of a tank and also harder hitting i do actually like chrome in particular the fact that you can do a wary qr set on chrome now and actually make it kind of work that's, ah, that's legit scary yeah i could actually see some super tank chromes coming in with like 70 attack and 50 defense. Res was still yeah. probably almost hit 30. That could be very respectable. Yeah, Resplendent Krom is actually going to be pretty damn good. Yeah, people are going to use Lucina because the speed meta is the speed meta, and that's just never going to change. Same with Mass Marth, but I'd say Krom is no sleeper on this. Just standard Krom is not a sleeper unit when it comes to this set. Just because of the fact that Wary is invaluable on anything, fast or slow. Okay, but yeah, just to sum it up, great refine. Uh, it um, was this was always going to be a hard one to do, but they they, they figured it out. They did. Um, I just want to give some perspective. Uh, a maxed out Mask Marth versus a maxed out Ninja Hana. Um, so let's we gave I gave Mask Marth uh, Sealed Falchion, and then I gave Hana Dex Swabber speed refined mm -hmm. so for sake of perspective a max down mask marth hits 53 hp 67 attack 56 speed 42 defense and 31 res effectively with sealed vulgin that's one more hp than hana seven more attack four more speed four more defense and nine less res compared to hana with dex Swabber. Mm. unit builder doesn't have the refines yet i was gonna mock up a crom 
What is better yeah, on a Max R. Lucina Lalat slash SPD or Repel Phantom SPD? Don't use Phantom Speed. <laughs> Don't use Phantom Speed. Um, I think you have damage reduction on her. It's insane now because she's among the highest speed hitting, uh, fastest heroes in the game. Yeah, for yep, perspective's so sake, Lucina has 48 speed out the gate, resplendent. Um, Marita with her sword hits 46. Yep. So, so you don't Lucina need that. is very quick. Um, low attack speed can be okay. I personally think that when you're going that fast and your defenses are respectable, you're generally going to be better off going with uh, no follow-up. Because, yes, damage reduction is very powerful, but with the number of auto follow-ups that are all over the place, okay, why would you even want to take that second hit when you can just say, no, I'm not going to take it? It's going to depend on where you are, where you're sitting, if you yeah. have to deal with a lot of auto follow-up or whatnot. That's kind of just a matter of no follow-up versus damage reduction in general, though. Okay, but yeah, I think that's enough about refines. Uh... My favorite one, favorite ones. Um, I think they just did a really great job. You know, looking back, I feel like I want to say Noe's was the weakest one, but then the ability to get rid of penalties is such a huge game changer. I don't know, man. I think it, it, Noe's is going to be the least impactful down the road, or at least the, or at least the least um distinct, I guess. Like it, Oliver, it has feels a bit potential. muted. And I, yeah, I can't yeah. put Oliver as last. That's the most original <laughs> refine I've ever seen. And it, it, it has actual potential as a Wob nuke or a Glacies nuke. Um, I guess Oliver, if you're looking in the practical sense of things. But I personally give Noe the bottom here. Even though she's the most exciting refined here by prospect. I'd still probably put her at the bottom. Yeah. Oh my god, all the Lucinas are all crazy now. This is this one's more committed to than uh Mad Crash is. The special spiral in Yune time is Actually I, I don't know. Oh. I don't I don't like special spiral in the B slot. I would rather oh, take actually, a damage reduction. The whole, and hold the four on flowers. Though. The thing is though, with noontime and special spiral, that's gonna keep her healthy. Rouse attack defense is gonna make sure that she always has that bonus as long as she doesn't get hit with panic. And considering just how much HP she has, panic isn't going to be the easiest thing to hit her with. Yeah, sometimes I forget that she has that much HP. Yeah, and this may have summoner support as well. So uh, no, even I more don't HP. Think so. Not special. Not special. Okay. Rousing defense teams. I'm just going to say that's a bit suspicious. But you probably don't use this build with the raids defense, so it's like whatever. Yeah. All right. But yeah, it's it's hard. I actually liked all the oh. refines. I think they're all very solid. I think it's yeah. a really cool refined batch, if anything. Yeah. Like, there's um, a lot of interesting oh God. I I just realized if you give Lucina summoner support, she has resplendent and max flowers and max merges and all of that. She can reach. 80 HP with quad mythics and the offense team will still score optimally if you're using Reagan as like a bonus mythic or whatever. Yep. And that's then still have dumb. And then still have all the speed that you what? Let's call what what did you take then? Rouse attack defense. What you rally rouse, rouse attack defense over close I cannot. Well, I mean, you silly whales. Right it's so much pain in that one inherit right there. Even yeah. though you have Spurn. I know you have Spurn, but I would rather just save that for another hero entirely. Yeah, especially now that Sylvain's around. It's just like, ugh, that hurts. That just hurts. <laughs> well, anyways, those are your refines. They did a good job. Uh, but yeah, we will move on to um, the stats of the heroes, which we kind of went over yesterday, but now we get to like, formally go over it. Yeah. yeah. And then I can summon. 